What is up guys? Welcome back to today's video. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the latest version of College Football Revamped on PC. Um, this is not for Xbox 360 or PS3 or anything like that. So if you are looking to download it for those consoles, uh, go ahead and click off and find a tutorial that works for you. Uh, this is for PC only. But yeah, let's get right into it. So before I start, I'm going to leave everything that you need in the description with links, um, literally everything you need. Um, but yeah, if just follow this step by step um, with those links and yeah. So the first thing you're going to need is this uh, PS3 emulator. Um, you're gonna down, go ahead and download it for uh, Windows, Linux, whichever one you're on, uh, probably Windows. But yeah, you're gonna go ahead and download it with this button right here. I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing you need. The next thing you need is this PS3 firmware, um, PS3 system 490. Right here, you're going to go ahead and scroll down um, and press on update using computer and you're going to go ahead and click on download PS3 update. This will download the firmware onto your computer and yeah, that's the, the uh, second thing you need. And the last thing you need right here is the college level revamped, um, actually like the easy installer that installs the revamp version onto your NCAA 14. So you're going to go ahead and go down here, you're going to click on PC, you're going to click on physical disk copy, new ESPN score bug, or you can do old, doesn't really matter. Um, you, whichever controller you have, uh, PlayStation or Xbox, I have Xbox, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. You're going to go ahead and scroll down and you're going to click on this PC disk right here. This will download it up here on your Google Chrome. Should take 10 to 15 minutes depending on your Wi-Fi, not too long. But yeah, that's basically everything you need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go down here. Uh, I'm going to go to my PS3 files right here. And you're gonna go ahead and put everything in that um, that you just downloaded in this file right here. So you're gonna go ahead and have the game file, the emulator file. This will be named something else. Or actually, what you need to do first is extract the emulator file right here um, using WinRAR or 7-Zip, whichever one you have, and it'll create this file right here. And then you have the Easy Installer, which I just showed you, and the PS3 firmware right here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go in here and uh, at first before you launch rpcs3 um, not all these files will be here um, but don't worry don't panic um, it will be here after you uh, boot it for the first time so you're gonna go down here and click on rpcs3.exe it's gonna go ahead and load okay so as you can see here um, also one thing to mention, um, people say don't update the emulator. I don't think it matters. I do. I'm not going to do it right this second, but it does not cause any problems for me. So I just go ahead and do it. If you don't, not a big deal. Um, so I already have my college football revamped in here. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to go over here and you're going to click uh, file, install firmware, and it'll be right here, this ps 3 updatepup um, This is the firmware. You're going to go ahead and click open. And I already have it, so you're going to click yes here. I'm going to click no. Um, but it should not take that long, maybe like a minute or so. But yeah, that's what you need to do first. So you're going to go back into your files, where everything is, and you're going to go ahead and copy this game folder right here with all these things in it. And right here, I cannot put this disk in the video. Um, I do not, uh, you know, support piracy or anything like that. That is a terrible thing to do. Um, but... You're going to need a physical copy for this. You can find it on eBay, GameStop, anywhere like that. But I'm sure there's several of tutorials out there on how to burn the disk onto your PC to get this disk file right here. But I cannot put that into the, um, the video. Uh, it would just take way too much time. But anyways, so once you have everything right here, you're going to go ahead and copy this right here. And you go to RPCS3. You're going to go to DevHDD0. You're gonna go to disk and if the disk file is not here which i've seen a lot of people not having it you're just gonna go ahead and right click here and you go to new and you get a folder and you just create disk um right here i'm not gonna i'm not going to i'm just gonna go ahead and delete it because i don't need it but if you if the disk disk file right here is not in there just go ahead and create it on your own and name it disk in all lowercase and then you're gonna go ahead and paste the blus file in here i already have it in here but you're gonna go ahead and paste uh, control v and that's what puts the game into the emulator right there. So we're gonna go back into the emulator here 
it should pop up it should show this not it will not show the college football revamp yet it should show the ea sports ncaa whatever it shows um but if you do not want the revive revamp part um which i assume you are here for you can go ahead and skip but if you do um you go back here you're gonna go to actually no no you're gonna stay in the emulator my my fault um you're gonna go to install packages slash wrap slash edats and you go here and you're gonna click on the easy installer that we got from the github earlier this is what puts the um, college flow revamped on the ncaa 14 file uh, i'm gonna click open i'm gonna click no you click yes it should not take maybe like three to four minutes i think that's how long it took for me but yeah you're just gonna wait for that to download and it should show this right here that's basically everything um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my custom settings which are not too important um, unless you have some bugs I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, change custom configuration for CPU you don't need to change anything the only thing I changed is um, from this is defaulted to safe I click it to mega you can leave it whichever one I think it makes that big of a difference uh, the GPU is where most of the graphics problems come from is a lot of people have this number at 300% below, um, they have it at 50 or 100, and that's why a lot of the graphics are not loading or it has very uh, pixelated graphics, things like that. Um, you want to make sure that's at least 150%, at least 150. Um, I have it on 300, I have it in 4K because I have a more you know upscale GPU, but if you have like a mid card to lower uh, range, you know, um, GPU, you can go ahead and uh, put this to 150. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at 300. Um, over here you can click legacy or async. I have it on async. A lot of people have it on legacy. Uh, I've tried both. They work about the same for me. Uh, you don't really need to change anything else in the GPU. You go to audio here. Um, if you have a lower end GPU, um, I recommend turning this off. It just cuts down on bugs and lagginess and things like that. But if you do have a um, pretty good and expensive GPU, go ahead and put uh, X audio and go down here and put convert to 16 bit down here and I enabled both of these buffering options You don't really need to but I just did just to make it, you know, a little bit better So you're gonna go, ahead, go down here and click apply and then save and then you're gonna go to boot with custom configuration And oh wait one more thing if you're using controller, which I assume you are um, go up to here to pads and click on um, whichever one the DualShock X input is for Xbox, Xbox 360, or Xbox One controller. Um, but whichever one you're using, go ahead and click. You don't need to change anything else. Just put save. Um, and then go ahead and right click boot with custom configuration. We're just going to go ahead and make sure everything works. On the first launch, it should take a decent amount of time and it should be pretty laggy. But don't panic because that's only for the first one to three launches. After you play for a while, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, don't panic if you have any lagginess or things like that. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and if you have any uh, problems, shoot me a comment in the description. I should reply pretty fast. And if you are willing to help me out, uh, reply to any problems that people have. That I would really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and wait on this to load. It should be should take a decent amount of time the first launch. You know, once in a while, a pirate we'll can beat a soldier, you know? No. All right, so we are about to load in here. Um, this is an okay that contributed. Yeah, like I said, Mike Leach on the cover here. Um, press whichever start button you want. A for Xbox. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, we're in here. Go ahead and select your favorite team um, on the first launch. Mine's South Carolina. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any problems, put it in the uh, down below in the comment section and I should respond. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I appreciate you guys watching and that's it.